Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sephora Zola and I'm back with another video. I really feel like I couldn't come onto my YouTube platform. I don't I couldn't come onto this this YouTube thing. I post another nonsense video, smack or facts or some e nonsense eating challenge, yeah. I couldn't post that before addressing this. Like just express myself because that's why I really created my YouTube channel. I didn't come onto here to to you know to be fake. I came on to this platform to be myself. So if I'm gonna come and be myself I need to talk about the issues that are affecting straight me. to the point. I'm here today to talk about Black Lives Matter, the movement, the organization that advocates for black rights and equality really and truly and i'm here to also talk about and say the name death of george floyd a 46 year old um black african-american man was um brutally murdered in minneapolis in um, america so he was accused of forgery as soon as the policemen came onto the scene i'm not too aware what happened in between because i couldn't watch the full video difficult for me personally to watch the full thing but uh, what they publicized on the news was the fact that derek chauvin i don't even know how to say his name i don't really care if i'm honest the policeman basically um weighed his knee down on his neck and um yeah brutally murdered george floyd and what happened to george floyd was absolutely disgusting and that that type of that form of police brutality was just like despicable to be honest it was just a black lives matter movement it's actually is an actual organization sorry which um, takes active steps into supporting black individuals who are victims of police brutality and just pushing for change and um they are an organization that make active changes within the community so they push for petitions and protests um and it hasn't just been within the uk or within america it's been globally i'm seeing pro people protesting in france in germany globally people are really standing up and they want to be heard just wanted to come onto here and address issue the issue of racism the issue of institutionalized racism the issue of police brutality i really wanted to come onto here and speak about it um just to not even just to give my take on things just to speak so that even if it means one person, two people take something from this video and they learn something new or myself on an issue that affects people globally, then I feel like I've 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 done something. I feel like we should all treat each other equally. We should treat human human beings as equals. We are all equals. However, I'm very aware and everyone should be educated enough to understand that institutionalized racism still remains systematic racism still remains the the people in positions of power are able to abuse black people because black people clearly clearly to, to the people in power black people do not matter and that is why we need to start raising awareness for black lives matter because we really need to shine a light on the fact that we are all equal if we are all equal then why do people why do black people get mistreated by the police why do black people black people in america as well as the uk because the uk is not innocent as much as you know there are differences our experiences are different we can't we can't denounce that we can't say oh one experience is hard and our experiences are different but the uk is not innocent there's been plenty of cases of police brutality these issues they they come about and you know everyone's at the forefront and everyone's ready to fight and fight the system and then a couple of weeks the, ne the next week we forget and i really don't want us to forget and that's why we need to keep pushing for these hashtags and pushing for signing petitions and pushing and pushing and pushing because we need to say we need to remember these people and actually remember the the, the brutal deaths that people have died people have died at the hands of police people that are meant to protect People that are meant to, that were meant to go to and feel safe around. People have died at the hands, black people have died at the hand of these police. And it's crazy to me that this is the world that we're living in right now in 2020. It's mad. It's actually crazy. It's crazy to me that it's big, big 2020 and this is what we're still on. So yeah, over the course of the week, there's been many riots, protests. There's been a lot of outrage and outcry. And I'm not here today to say that one way of, you know, speaking out is a is the correct way and one way is the wrong i'm not here today to do the that solution is change that's why we need to advocate for change we need to make we need to take active steps guys that be signing petitions a lot of people are unaware of the power that, of petitions the power that petitions hold and I include some links of some petitions down below that you guys should be signing no matter what comes of this video i feel like other people are going to be tuning in now i have 500 subscribers i started there now i have 500 subscribers which i'm so grateful for and that means 500 people or whatever amount of people are here listening and viewing that means that you can have an impact on 
even it, it may be small but you can still have an impact on these people so that's why i had to make this video and even if even though it may be scattered and i i feel like i didn't even come with enough facts and statistics i just came this is my platform and i've come here to talk about something that's affected me so i feel like yeah i had to do right by that i had to do right by my people i had to do right, right by young black people i had to do right by myself truly i had to do right by myself yeah, still many racists and many people that are just ignorant and are not very educated on matters like black lives matter and and they don't really understand that institutionalized racism is still a is still a big thing i think it is still happening and black people are still being killed and it's still happening but realizing that racism shouldn't be happening in 2020 this should, we shouldn't be talking about this we it shouldn't be happening but it is and because it is we need to start making a change and making an active change you guys check up on the people around you check up on check up on your your friends your your family check up on the people around you, your neighbors guys i really think it's a, it's a really difficult period and i feel like i'm not the only one feeling discombobulated i'm not the only one feeling this way feeling hurt feeling pain feeling you know one day i'm angry the next day i'm yeah. so stop looking at people that are posting pic um, pictures on instagram and now you think you have to post on instagram people deal with things differently i didn't even watch the full video because i genuinely couldn't people have different opinions on you know uh, media because sometimes it desensitizes you know black people as a whole like it desensitizes the death of young black men that we see in america it desensitizes it and we don't we begin to just think it's normal oh someone else has died you know and you don't feel anything it shouldn't be that way we need to you know this pain and this hurt that we all feel when we see a black person die we need to use that and and use that pain and start transferring it into positive changes and implementing sustainable changes like we need we need sustainable changes and i i, I personally need to improve on that as well i need to look at my community and look at where i live and start doing stuff and start using my voice and i feel like the thing is life is crazy because life you know you've got school keeps in school school work uni you're overwhelmed we we all live in our own world but i just hope and pray that we can stay consistent and we understand that this is bigger than just us this isn't about this is about the future and the future generations to come like this of um even shows on netflix like netflix shows are amazing um that can educate you on black matters that's been that was the best netflix series to um stand in solidarity with the death of george floyd um and say his name guys keep saying his name we've got to remember because we tend to forget you know as a, as as humans like we have short term memory we forget these things we we go about our lives in a week or two we'll forget we need to continue to say his name until changes are made thank you to all the people thank you for just being you dealing with it in the way that you're dealing with it that's what i want to say actually thank you for dealing with current matters and current disgusting situations with the way you're dealing with it because we all deal with things differently i need to be more consistent on here and i will try my best to I just want to end this video by saying their names it hasn't just been george floyd it hasn't just been them there's been many more what from 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 way back that's the thing this isn't this isn't something new i haven't really had order and structure to, to this video um because i feel like this this video expresses how my head my head my what's going on inside my head it's just bits and bobs bits and bobs and how i feel and i'm just i'm just throwing it all out there i hope that this video educates you in some way shape or form i hope that this better your life in some way shape or form but yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this video has helped um i really really my last message because i talk too much man i talk too much the last thing i'm gonna say is um we are all in this together you are not alone like you may be feeling maybe this past week has been hectic for you but reach out to one another help one another be there for one another because it has been crazy for all of us and rest in power to george floyd rest in power to betty majinga this video share this video if it helps if you know someone that's struggling and needs a video to kind of almost uplift them or they need a video to relate to just send it to them um and yeah guys share this video thank you for watching thank you so much for watching and just, but just remember guys to keep speaking out and yeah keep making a change and a difference bye guys